Hey everyone, how are we doing? It's Rob with Ship Our Wedding. We have some waterproof lights in front of us, and Chancellor, you probably have this in your DIY package. When it arrives, we want to show you how the case works, how you go ahead and put these together, and how you'll set them up in the room. It's going to be a really quick DIY video for you that you can reference the day or two days before your event. This way, when you're doing your setup, it comes together really fast. So let's go ahead and let's check it out, and we're going to go and give you an overview of our shipping case. This right here is our shipping case. You'll notice it has clasps on the side. We're gonna open up all four of them. Then when we open it, you'll see what's inside the case. This case will ship with one, two, three, four, five of the waterproof outdoor uplighting fixtures. You'll also have these cables tucked really nicely right next to the lights, just like this. This way, if you need to go ahead and plug them in, get some power, you can also charge them. These will ship out to you fully charged. Now if you look at this side, we do have the brackets. So you notice this bracket is already attached. We have screw going through both pieces of these brackets. There's a nut on the back. The nut should spin freely like this. And you'll just take the pieces like this, put one side in, start to tighten it, then go ahead and put the other side, maybe slightly bend it out, bend it in, and then go ahead and tighten this down. Tighten as much as possible, this way you feel confident it won't come off the brackets. And also you can adjust the light fixture when it's hanging from a tent. We have it on the ground, aimed up a wall. Let's go back to the box and let's show you how we take the brackets and we actually install them onto the outdoor uplighting fixtures. Things about your lights, you want to make sure that all of these are fully pushed down. If there's any moisture outside, water does not get inside of the light. These are waterproof, so you will be good to go. You're able to make adjustments. We have to do it for the left side as well as for the right side. Since the left side is going to go ahead and get screwed in, it's going to hold this in place. Then we're going to take the other screw and we're going to install it on the other side. Also, when installing the brackets, make sure you install it in the bottom hole and not the top hole. And you want to install it in the same lower hole for both sides of the fixture. This way your bracket attaches evenly. If you want to go ahead and take your light and then aim it like this, you can adjust it to go up a wall instead of having it mounted. Since we are in a tent, we'll be taking these lights and mounting them to the tent canopy. That's going to be done with this clamp. This is what's called our mega clamp. We also have the bolt. The bolt will screw into the bottom of the mega clamp just like this. You'll also see there's a washer on here. So you want to make sure that when you tighten this, it's finger tight because if you go any tighter than that, you will need to have a tool to remove these if you don't have tools available. Just make sure it's finger tight. This way the clamp stays on the light bracket itself. Great. So you see how the clamp is mounted. This is adjustable so we can screw this in or out. This will fit on a two inch diameter pipe. This is what's typically used inside of tents. If you have a larger tent then you might need a larger style clamp. Just make sure you go ahead and put that in your cart when you reserve your date with the DIY rentals. Here's an example of a light that's ready to get mounted. Let's go back to the box and let's show you how we take the brackets and we actually install them onto the outdoor uplighting fixtures. All right, and this is a finished look in our tent with all the uplighting on. You'll see it's matching with one colors. What we love about the champagne ivory color, it goes really well with these chandeliers that you see in the tent. They complement each other, especially with the gold. You'll see the clients working in gold with their shivari chairs, as well as with their centerpieces and the charges that they have on their tables. I just had to include this clip. This is so adorable. Check this out. Talked about the lighting inside the tent. We also have some lights here. How many got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Since these lights are really powerful, we're gonna aim these in the trees. It's gonna create a really dramatic look for the event. We're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at this property. We're gonna talk a little about the trees. There's a big tree right here. So we're gonna put two lights in here and light up this tree. It's gonna go up 100 feet. It's really gonna light up that canopy. There's a big tree back here by the catering tent. I don't believe that we need to have any lights inside the catering tent because they do have their own lights. So we're just gonna light this tree up. It's gonna create a focal point. So when guests are walking around this path, Maybe they need to go use a restroom. They're out here at a high top. They're talking with other guests. They will be able to turn. They'll be able to look this way and they'll be able to see a tree that's completely lit up. So I definitely want to put some lights on this tree. This tree right here, we're definitely going to focus on. And if we keep coming back, you'll see there's a tree right here. We're going to put a couple lights there. So I'm going to say two, four, six. We still have some left over. So we could take maybe a couple lights kind of just aim one this way up the path. Take one here, aim it this way up the path. This puts us at eight. So we still have six lights left over in the package. Let's say two more over there. So maybe one going up this tree that we have, one more along this path, and they'll leave us maybe four more lights. I'm just thinking those four lights can go against this wall. That'll really help light up the tent. Here's another highlight from the wedding. All you love your we have one, two, three, and then four. And this is pretty much going to light up this whole back wall. This area over here will not be lit. We're thinking about having it span across and go across that doorway, but since it's a main entrance way, we don't want light shining in guest eyes. So we decided to skip that. We are focused on this walkway over here. So let's go ahead and talk about the walkway. 
your goal with the lighting is to make sure that you hide the lights. It kind of creates that illusion. How is this happening? This light right here is pretty much aimed all the way down. It's just kind of coming out across here. It's going to light up probably halfway, maybe three quarters of the way. The light happening inside the tent will come out and it'll kind of light up that way. We have some lights that are going up into the tree canopy. So we have one right here, 45 degree angle. We have another one this way. And this is going straight up into this tree canopy. This whole thing is going to glow. We talked about that tree back there earlier. If I can kind of zoom in a little. So we have a light right there. And there's another one up there too. So we have a total of two lights ready to go for that back tree. And you can see how big that tree is. The tree's what, 120 feet tall? The whole tree's gonna light up. So it's gonna look really nice. Now as you walk underneath this archway, we're taking advantage of these post structures here. So we actually put a light down here. This is aiming up towards this tree canopy. And the same thing for this one on this side. This is coming off a little bit of an angle because it's kind of wide in here. So if we start to walk backwards, you'll see that this tree is also a focal point. It's very, very tall. You can see the whole thing on my camera. Look at that. <laughs> so yes, that's also a tall tree that we want to light up. And then there are restrooms. So we have one light over here kind of aimed off towards the ground. And this will light up this area as well so guests can see it. So let's go ahead and show you how this looks later in the evening. So as we walk out of the tent, you'll see the canopies lit up. And as we start making our way outside, just go ahead and look at the outside tent perimeter. It's lit up in this beautiful blue color, just like this. We're gonna go ahead and spin around. Look at those trees we were talking about earlier, how they're lit up all the way. That pathway also has color on it so guests can see. So if you need help playing your DIY event, feel free to contact us. Once again, my name's Rob with Shipper Wedding. We are nationwide and we'd love to help you. We have a chat widget available on our website. You can also call us toll free, 1-844-SHIPWED. Thanks so much for watching, take care. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.